It was our final frontier. See, in our grand exploits, my companion Porgy and I had conquered the great heights of the skies atop our majestic Quetzal. We'd ruled over the dominion of land atop a gargantuan titanosaur. Yet one place remained a mystery to us. The oceans. Its dark, murky depths frightened us. But today, today that was all going to change. All right. See, our adventure began with me atop my Thylacoleothelma. We had recently made a pilgrimage in our large walking fortress across the map, so I went back to check on our now abandoned original small outpost base. Uh, we just refreshed wild dinos, so there's probably gonna be a lot of them. Plan today. Porgy and I want to go into the ocean. Oh. What is this? Egg. No more. What? Why the. Why is this thing attacking me? Bro, what are you doing, player? Oh, I stole its egg! Oh, that's why bro's heated. It was nighttime as I traveled, and it was quite treacherous in this region. Level 4. I didn't- wasn't even trying to tame it! What's going on?! I can't move! Uh... But what the dick was that? I'm so out of here. Now aiming to still gain some levels on Thelma, I wasn't opposed to scrapping with some high XP providing alpha dinos. No, those dumb little Trudon things. Wait, third party. Great opportunity. Where'd it go? Wait! Oh no, it's really fast. It's not that fast, and I can climb something. Yeah, buddy didn't. Th oh, but I don't gain stamina. Of course. I actually need to kill these. All right, Thelma, get your poop out and let's push. Oh, it bro was one shot. These things are so creepy with their little hands. I can't remember what they're called. They're like Giplong Abysses or something. Iguanodons, that's what it was. Look at these little fellas pulling up. It's a little bit cute. I next finished my journey back to our small cabin and grabbed some items that were left behind. The neighborhood went to hell. Hello, doggy. <laughs> Ooh. There were a lot of useful resources and items here. I'd have to return for a larger transfer. But for now, I grabbed some stuff and headed to meet up with Porgy. We have so much metal. No, well, it's well, all your well. fault. All I do is stand here and look cute. And take all our flyers and have no idea where you lose them. All right, you, lo all right, I'm you lost flyer privileges. Discussing Porgy's past tendencies for losing flyers, we were hunting for a misplaced Argentavis named Arguina. I will find this thing. Secure Arguina. I know where I am. I'm going. I'm going. 60. I'm go I got speed. Packages secured. Coming home now. Do I see you? I see you. Gotcha, bitch! <laughs> oh my god, this is the best thing! I hate the cats! In the distance, I see this the cat just like flying off the tree. Following that perfect moment I observed in the distance, I now put Thelma in a cryopod and took off for our flying fortress atop our green. Is that a- Oh! I feel like the longer you play Ark, the more problems you start to run into. I think the most reoccurring one for me, crappy teammates. Bro, I'll tell you what, what the hell? See, previously we had tamed a titanosaur that would remain with us since dino feeding was turned on. And we had built a great fortress upon its back. This mobile castle was our home, and now we wanted to do the same for the oceans. See, there's so much shit! What is this?! What? Where is the bird? Now we began making preparations to set off for the ocean. We wanted to craft scuba gear to breathe, see, and move quickly underwater. There's definitely like a ton of narcotics somewhere. I then began crafting some narcotics. We would need a lot of them to tame some initial ocean dinos. <laughs> All right. Damn, Pretzel is so slow though after zooming. Taking off on our Quetzal named Pretzel a few moments later, I headed back to our cabin to get the remaining resources there. Now things soon took a turn in the Redwood Forest. Hey, very Oh my... What the dick was that, bro? Oh, this might be really bad. Ripped off Pretzel's platform by a cat, Arguina was now caught in a big fight with numerous dinos. You have Arguina to have faith. Oh my god, Arguina's one shot. 
I can't wait to try this water stuff. After barely fleeing with Arglina after that near-death experience, I breathed a sigh of relief. Landing at the cabin, I loaded up everything into Arglina for the weight reduction and flew back to our Titanosaur Tim's fortress. Are you too, too thick to come? No, it's fine. A Bronto just whacked me out of nowhere. Let's make scuba gear. See, there's too many dinos. Look to the left of Tim. Can I just like drop Arglina off just by like... Oh, that was slick. As I crafted in our castle, Porgy continued having issues with thylacolios in the Redwood Forest. Uh, I wasn't even near a tree. If I die to another cat, so help me God, I'm going to the goddamn... Don't yeah, finish this thought, Porgy. Do not finish this thought. I'm finishing this thought. Usually when I'm finishing thoughts, I'm hanging out with your mom. Where is the pretzel? Downstairs. No, I'm you. I'm crafting stuff right now. Hey, That's actually want, too much. That. You wouldn't want to have that's a 12 inch penis. It's just no. too much. Like, like, you know, it's, there's a chart that's online. Outrageous. Actually, I'm gonna stop talking. <laughs> Yo, why <are> you st <laughs> stop? <laughs> no. What do you think? Oh, wait, you're bald. With many preparations complete, during the night I saw a high level pteranodon nearby and went to tame it. That's what it's all about, baby. I remember seeing, I forget where it was, I but for some him. reason. Let's go. Oh, you cooked him? You can shoot the crossbow in the water as well. Okay, we'll figure it out. Ain't no way, bro! Oh my god, dude. Your face sounded like you were struggling. I panicked. <laughs> Alright, well, you gotta be named Earl. I thought you were laughing at me. After a touch of drama in the taming process, I spent some time training Earl. Let me see what happens. No! What? It's fine. I fell off. Alright, I'm going. Grab a bunch of raw meat. We next took off for the ocean on two pteranodons. We were ready to explore the seas. Over the red forest? Are you I was, crazy? I was thinking due south. Landing halfway through our trip to regain stamina, Porgy then saw something frightening. Oh, that's one of those weird things. Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> Can we kill it? Come on, kill it! I can't hit it. Kill it! Oh, no, I think. I just it's died so fast. here, I think. I just died here, I think. Wait, can I tell it to, like, pass it? Welcome. My pearl is so dead, dude. What? In a desperate fight with this powerful, gigantic insect, things were looking bad. Well, what did I tell you about getting your dinosaur killed? Wait, I'm kind of the flying one. Am I cooking it? Oh my god, that thing actually kind of low key did. Okay, that was some bullshit. It just—it's killing something. It's kind of cool. I'm not, am I cooking it? I can't tell if I'm cooking it. This is a cool little area. It's it just died, bro. Like Earl was dead. A short-lived tame, but at least justice was served on his killer. No flyer. It's fine. I'm out of here. R.I.P. the homie Earl. You gotta take care more care of your. Oh flyers, my God! Say. If you. <sighs> Now, in all that excitement, I'd forgotten I had Thelma in a cryopod. A very frustrating realization. It was sunset when I arrived at the coast, and Porgy was already up to his usual antics. You have two dinos named Boobs and Ass. Well, now I just have Ass. <laughs> is this Come the on. ancient Boobs vs. Ass? Let's oh, no. Go ass. Maybe it's following you? Yeah. It Let's go! Oh. I see something in the water. I don't know. I said. Sharks! I see a bunch of sharks. That's the new shark. see me? I got a bunch of, uh, the track darts. Okay. Donning our scuba gear and slipping under the waves as night fell was quite spooky. Uh -oh. I'm... Shark is coming for my ass. What, is, what is level is it? Do we know? Is this angry? Who's my friend? I feel like it doesn't matter, kinda. The eerie lighting of the ocean illuminated all the creatures around us as we got to work taming our first megalodon. That one's asleep. You Is see it? the ones asleep. Yep. Yep, there's one. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. He's not going to sleep. He's not going to sleep, poor G. This one's a thicky. 
You're getting pulled up on. Wait, no, they're my friends. Are they? I don't know. They like me for some reason. Oh, this. I am dibs on this one, 4G. Oh, okay, we got him. All right, I'm giving oh, it meat. Oh, with both megalodons asleep and taming, now we had to deal with some threatening jellyfish. Oh, there's jellyfish here now. Uh, I sh Oh. Yes. And are you driving that shark? Wait, no, it's it's tamed. Oh! It's our shark. He's, I was like, he's kind of zooming. Man, the man, the man. Megalorian. That goes kind of hard. Megalorian. Oh, what, yeah, what here the we mega go. Oh, you named it. Yeah. It's turning day. That means we can go under the water. Under the sea. Everything's better. Down where it's wetter. Under the sea. Putting Thelma in a cryopod, and with the sun rising, we set out to explore atop our megalodons. Oh, oil! Oil? The ocean is deep, full of mysteries. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Damn, he is cooking. Oh! Porgy, I see a scary thing. Unbeknownst to me at the time, but I was witnessing a dino that would become the crux of our entire ocean existence soon enough. All the rays pulled up. Is a Mosasaurus. Oh, uh, that's the thing you can platform, I think. Level 24. Hmm. Hold on, I'll I'm fight. in the middle of something. Oh, I'm out of energy. Uh -oh. Cooking it. Fighting off megalodons, we encountered other more subtle, fearsome creatures. See, why are these things just, like, looking? What's that all about? Like, why did they just... Whoa! Oh! Something bad. Eels, what? eels, eels. Electric eels. eels. Electric eel. I'm, I might die. I might die. Just get out. I'm trying, you have a big but I fishy. can't. Wait, what do you mean you Wait, can't? Wait, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. An electrophosaurus and his mate boosted, I think. Yeah, you can actually, like, be underwater for a really long time without a scuba tank. Yeah, I've noticed. Oh. Wait, are you just... How do you tame those? You just give him food. Fish. We've seen the Mosasaur. Oh, it gets really cold down there. Fleeing the electric eels, I soon uncovered more about how the world of Ark functioned. Oh, oh, I found the edge of the world. What happens Wait, to Wait, what? There's an edge of the world. You can't go any farther. It's coming. Poor G. <laughs> I'm in danger. Oh, my scuba tank broke. I could put Shark in the Pokeball. We explored a bit more, and then I went to shore to Cryopod Megalorian. I'd say that was a successful first trip to the ocean. We tamed a Meg. We next returned home to our fortress. We had to repair our scuba gear and also figure out how we would make our grand moving ocean base. See, if we tamed a Mosasaur, we could mount a platform saddle on its back. This would allow us to build on it to our heart's delight. Meat. Cook the meat, boy. Now, as we considered all this, I tamed another RG in the forest. can't escape the dark night. What if we just call it Travis? Focusing on gaining some experience, I did some fighting with our new Argentavis, Travis. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> See, that's where you messed up. <laughs> See, that's where you messed up. Oh, I'm just... Oh, the monkeys! Yes. That's where you messed up. <laughs> that was a lot, but it's all good. Yeah. Surprise! Goofing around at base, I now learned the engram for the Mosasaur platform saddle and used resources we'd farmed already to craft it. Okay, what are you doing? I brought gift. Probably more trank balls. Now, as I had been crafting, Porgy had made a small raft of his own. We would use it to sail down the inland waterways to the sea. As the warship. <laughs> I have a sniper scope. Oh. So here's the battleship. Oh, yeah. What's it called? Um, the boat. Bitches love the boat. That's true. Bitches do love boats. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me drive the boat. Setting out with the platform saddle, as well as all the resources we needed to tame a Mosasaur and begin our ocean mobile base, we enjoyed the picturesque scenery. Ooh, this is... Mm, this is kind of... Ooh, this is kind of scenic! This is very pleasant. 
Yes. Did I take a right or a left? Ah, uh, forward. Uh oh. I don't think we can go that way. This is kind of what I was worried about. Now the waterways were too shallow and thus impassable on our raft, but Porgy decided to take a try at it anyway. It's not about luck. It's about skill. Oh. Oh. Yeah, see that? It was a fun trip on last. It was a good trip. <laughs> Not seeing any success, Porgy and I then returned to our castle. Wow. And with all the resources on us and our heavy load bearing Argies, we took off for the sea to tame a Mosasaur. Which is what a boat. I heard they added a new dino. Again. Again? We landed at some rocks off the coast. This area would be our makeshift dock. What is that? Is that the ma that oh, that <laughs> that was big. That was so <laughs> scary. You just see that? <laughs> I'm going in. After a rather frightening cinematic moment, we leapt back into the dark ocean. I don't like it out here. No, I don't like it out here. It's very. <laughs> I, I think it's because it's nighttime. It's scary. Oh, what's all oh, these things? Can these I, wait, things just follow you around. These? these things are so stupid. <laughs> these things are actually stupid, <laughs> and they're annoying. Like they're just following you. They're, like, they're like me. Some inquisitive ichthyosauruses surrounded us as I released Megalorian from my cryopod. Show that shark was a Megalorian. This is so scary. I'm zooming. Let's go a little farther out. Resuming our exploration, we were on the hunt for a mosasaur. Oh, man. Stole my narcotics, that bird. <laughs> we have to kill it then. I'll handle this. Take the shot when you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> a bird had stolen Porgy's narcotics from his inventory. An unlucky turn of events if we needed to keep a dinosaur asleep while taming it. It looks weird. A what the hell is even that? Wait, it's got a Basilosaurus. Look at that. And there's a bunch of mantas on it. What is this? What is Observing all sorts of marine life as we continued to wander, we also fought off some of these creatures for XP. Ah, lame. They don't... That thing was like actually took a beating though, you know what I mean? Yeah. Now we hadn't been going for long at this point when a shadow drifted across some rocks in the distance. No. I see it! I see one. Oh. oh, I see it, I see it, I see it, I see it, I see it. Oh my god, you can see it. It looks so cool though. Doesn't it? This thing is way cooler than the Plesiosaurus. Now heading to the surface, Porgy and I plotted our plan for taming this Mosasaur. Why do you have a mustache? What did you do to me? <laughs> I made you beautiful. <laughs> I want to get back to full health. To be honest, it'll make the taming easier. Everything's a bit da down now it is wet up. Okay. Wet up. And uh, the sea. The sea. Hey, how you doing there? Over the night, we bided our time. The water was too cold to remain in its depths for long. Porgy's scuba tank was also low on oxygen. All Keep right. me protected. It immediately stopped raining. I got this. Let's go. Rescue for the Vesga. When morning came, we were ready to begin. Here, let's kill the- let's kill these mags, let's kill these mags. Now, Porgy was going to use tranquilizer bolts in his harpoon gun, and since he had put nearly every skill point in a speed, he could easily outswim and outmaneuver the massive Mosasaur. Every- yo, everything's pulling up on me. I mean, I'm cooking. <laughs> I hit it. You hit it? Yeah, where is it? Right here, it's running into the wall. It's a little stupid. Let's cook him. We'd engaged the Mosasaur. We were committed now. Oh. Okay. See, my role here was to keep Porgy safe as he kited the Mosasaur. I'm just gonna work on killing him. Oh. It's a little spooky. Is it coming for- I think I swim faster, though. Just keep going. Yeah, I'm good right now. I'm about to run out of things, so I'm gonna need you to start arrowing it. See, I had a lot of tranquilizer arrows on me in case the bolts didn't finish the job. So now I got to work. He's asleep right now. Is it? Which it is. It is. No, I... It is. Okay, okay. What did I tell you? All right, well gamed, Porgy. The Mosasaur was asleep. Now to feed it and protect it, and it would soon be ours. Go into the Oh my god, go into the so fast. <laughs> like... Wild male Mosasaurus. Man, those narcotics would have been nice right about now. Stupid well, bird. <laughs> uh, I don't think we get this. <laughs> I forgot about my oxygen. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, okay. Porgy had died. Without his narcotics, we'd have to make some very difficult decisions. Fast, fast. If I shoot it again with a Trank Dart... What is the taming? 50%? Uh, yeah, I am. I'm just doing that. This, our taming effective just is getting worse and worse. I know that this is hurting the soul of <laughs> some <laughs> people. I know what I'm naming him. Let my people go. 
Jesus? Moses, poor G. Oh, wait. Oh. <laughs> Moses. Wait, the, who's Moses. the one with the whale? Bruh. Okay. Did I go the wrong way? Where the birds? I think you're good. Heading to the surface, I observed our fascinating new dinosaur. I think it's like fast, too. I know it's fast as me. This thing got a zoom. Orgy soon returned atop a flyer, and we took off to where we'd landed our Argies. The Mosasaur saddle was on our Guina. Okay. How many levels did he go up, or not go up? Two. <laughs> <laughs> he went up two levels? He hungers. Level eight, perfect. An introductory kill for our little fella. Oh, yeah. He, uh... Does his business. Let's get back to the birds. Yeah, that's a big shark. Uh, level yep, 48. Level 48. That's Ooh. a little scary. Wait, let's let our boy cook. I'm just gonna soften it up a little bit. It's not hitting it. Oh, hey, let's go. <laughs> oh, okay, go. he's gonna get so much off that. What it levels? 35 levels! <laughs> oh my god, he has a 10k health pool now. He's a giga chonker now. We deftly maneuvered through a fight with an alpha megalodon, and now Moses was supercharged with XP. That's Wait, there's like a million manta rays! Just kill it all, kill it all. <laughs> Bro aggroed everybody. A chaotic scene continued to unfold under the water. We soon arrived back at our RGs, and I prepared the saddle. Lena, got the saddle. Hello, Moses. Well, let's get the saddle on. Hop on, Porgy! Oh my god. He's actually really awkward to move, though. We'll see. Under a foggy sunset, we began testing Moses' abilities. Now, he was quite awkward when turning, but on a straightaway, he could fly. See? See how weird yeah. it is? Yeah. <laughs> Let me get on. Yeah, it's like the pirate ship from Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh! One, the Flying Dutchman the or something. Flying oh, no. Dutchman. I like that. Yeah. Porgy and I now began visualizing the structure we would build on Moses' back. I go fast if I want to. What is that shark doing, bro? Oh my god, stop, bro. I'm stuck. Build the devote to Porgy. We decided to go for a pirate ship aesthetic. It would be functional as well as effective for storage, fighting, and space. So let's go home. We next flew back to our castle atop our flyers, leaving Moses to briefly fend for himself. Back at the fort, I scavenged all I could for our building process and then also brought our Quetzal over. What a beautiful day in Minecraft. Loaded with supplies for the trip, I returned to Moses. Oh, there. <laughs> you go under the water and you just see him. <laughs> Big spooky dinosaur hiding in water. Back at the ship, Porgy now began building as I gathered him additional resources. Timber! The foundation of our ship was being set. But we would need a lot of wood for this project, so I next took off to go tame a beaver. They were highly efficient at farming and storing wood. Oh, I'll bring it to uh, oh, level yeah. 72. Oh, it's kind of fast on land. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't worry, don't kill it. No. Oh, no, never mind. I got it. Pumping tranquilizer darts into this irate beaver near its dam, I then fed it some berries and it was soon tamed. Casey, probably just come back here if I can eat. I then flew Casey over to our ship. Porgy was hard at work establishing the foundations. I next did a bit of farming and then saw something spooky in the water. Hi, uh, Georgie. Uh -oh. An alpha megalodon was close. I went to go deal with this. Oh yeah. This be... Uh oh. My hope it doesn't. There's a twig or something that just gets attacked. Nice. With this fearsome creature dispatched, Moses had gained numerous more levels. He was growing very powerful. Where's the bro going? What? Pelagornis just lands like bro pays rent. That's crazy. God dang. Yo, why the why the Castoridis kinda 
Hello, beaver doggy. Now, a few moments later, with Porgy crafting on the mainland, things got dicey. What's... What am I here? Oh. 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 Forget... Oh! There's the... Those stupid jellyfish. Uh-oh. Yelly. Where did it go? Okay. I don't see the Mosasaur. I don't what? know where it went. What do you... What do... Um... What do you mean? Oh, I see it! I see it! I see it! I see it. Alright, I'm good. The Mosasaur is getting cooked and it can't fight back right now. It's taking a lot of damage. I can't tell. Moses was stuck and taking lots of shock damage. This was bad. Oh, I might die. I'm gonna die, I think. Don't you lose the Mosasaur! It can't- it, like, can't attack them. It's glitched. There's, uh, one second. Let me see if I can... I think we're okay. It's looking bad for a second. Now that it appeared worse than it actually was, but now after the excitement, I returned to the surface. Okay, false alarm, we're fine. Over the next while, Porgy continued building as I farmed up resources. The ship's deck was progressing well. Interesting. I don't think we're gonna be able to have a bottom layer. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, I feel a little. I watched him build and also gave him some suggestions. Looking uh, like a very nice uh, pirate ship. Oh, we can have we can have birds on it. A captain's quarters at the stern gave the ship a much-needed interior area. Oh yeah. So I just bring raw wood. Gathering wood and transferring it, we also built an integral part of any pirate ship. What if you walk the plank up on the back? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Walk the plank. I don't want to walk the plank. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. No, I'm gonna pass out. Don't do it. With the cannons placed and the masts being erected, the ship was really coming alive. I now spent some time placing decorations over Porgy's framework. This is a fire hazard. The bug head sticks out. Put that on the very front. Oh, that'd be cool. I have a figure hub. I added furniture to the captain's quarters as well as torches all over the deck. What would you do with a drunken burger? Porgy's ingenuity was truly shining as he cobbled together the sail. Now, ensuring that the frame had not hindered our movement, I took a quick test drive. But there was still work to do. Ooh, okay. Ooh. We kind of look like pirates, honestly. We look like a Viking. Very I... different. Are Vikings not pirates? Okay, no, I'm gonna put this conversation to rest. Not all pirates are Vikings, but all Vikings are pirates. If Vikings were pirates, then the show Vikings would be called Pirates. Having some insightful conversations, Porgy and I continued construction. We're making the pirate ship. Just... With an intimidating figurehead placed, I admired Porgy's work. I did it! That's what we talked about. It's even about. centered. I First time. That's so cool. Oh, that's sick. From a distance, you can't mm -hmm. tell. You just see like a shadow under the water. You're just uh, like, oh, that's a boat. Wait. Perfect landing. Hey, that's a pretty cool pirate ship. Yo. What is party doing? This is hot. This looks really good. <laughs> what? My pride, it just yeeted me up. I'm the captain. No, I'm the captain. Your first mate. No, the bird is first mate. <laughs> you are the deck swabber. I swab the deck. You run around pirate on the deck. Ship. This is a pirate ship. Land ho! Oh yeah, hot. Yar matey. What's a pirate's favorite letter? W or X X X. It's a trick question. Why is it X? Because it marks the spot. Oh, no. A pirate's first true love is always the sea. Hey, that's pretty good. Having just one bird? It's like our parrot! <gasps> it's just a massively obese parrot! It's just a little too big. <laughs> just need to find something for the wheel. I've got it, a toilet. <laughs> it's gonna look beautiful. Are you ready? Go. The finishing touch. Boom. The captain is speaking. Your parrot on your shoulder. 
Feeling like distinguished seafaring privateers, the lore of our ship continued evolving. I wanna see what it looks like. Now up is down. <laughs> I see the I see the sails. Hello there. <laughs> From the sky, watching this majestic pirate ship dive and then re-emerge from the depths was an incredible thing to witness. Tactical toilet? Come on, go. Tactical toilet? Tactical <laughs> toilet! Let's go! Discovering that the toilet would keep us tied to the boat, we realized the tremendous vessel that was at our disposal. What are you doing down there? Go, 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 go. You like it? Welcome! <laughs> How did you poop on, on- did you do that on command? <laughs> now after that maiden voyage, we put the finishing touches on our ship. Ready to see real immersion? Let me get Ooh. on the tactical toilet. Okay, I'm on. Will, will, will the fire go out? I don't know. Let's see. No! <laughs> oh! This is actually ghostly. With the torches emanating an unearthly glow below the waves, we explored around. What are you? Oh, yeah, this, thing, I, this, thing, this thing does turn horribly. You have left me. Hold you on. have doomed me. Help. 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 I see a dino. Help. Sword. It's killing Casey. It's killing Casey. Our beaver Casey had followed us down here. An intrepid adventure for such a small man. That. What's going on? What is going on there? It attacked the boat. Be careful. I want to sit. This is so cool from the captain's quarters. I'm in. There's a rock. And then I come back Ooh. up. Oh. Everything's better down where it's wetter under it, the sea. Yeah. It's dark down. Slinking through deep ocean waters, we soon saw a very unique beast. It's something else! There's a squid, Porgy. A squid? It's coming. The Kraken is here, brother. With Porgy atop Casey and me captaining Moses, we engaged the Kraken. That's a big cracker. Charge! I'm going to eat you on the bus. <laughs> okay, I'm coming to save you. <laughs> Did it just like hold you and beat you up? Oh, oh, oh! Cracker! <laughs> <laughs> I'm stuck against the wall. Was it dead? It did it nut? I think you killed it. Dumb beaver. Well, how did you kill it that fast? I don't know. I'm so out of here. What is this thing? What is that thing? This little what, fellow. What is Aww. He's kind of yeah. cute. Do you like meat? I feel like it might like something funky. It's got that little aura. Oh. No, did it just attack us? It no. did. Wait, it's not nice! Did you see its teeth? No, that is not a nice creature. Misled by its sparkles, we left behind this razor-toothed dinosaur. Oh! 20,000 leagues under the sea. Now next, we wanted to circumnavigate the entire map. Starting in the south, we would travel counterclockwise through the ocean surrounding the island. Let's go find something goofy. What's the rarest fish for the fire stick? What the hell is that? It's gonna land on us. Watch this. It is unbelievable. I'll handle it, Porgy. Get me a position. On our journey, we saw multiple different underwater animals. We also observed some strange acting birds. Manning siege equipment. Finding range. Elegor and this down. With our cannons proving to be deadly, we continued on. I'm stuck. I want to see a huge sea monster. Wait, Porgy. Yes? We are the huge sea monster. <gasps> Admiring our great galleon as it slipped nimbly through the waves, jungles on the mainland became forests and forests became tundra. I love this front piece. We've ran aground, Porgy. Go to the captain's quarters. Oh my god. <laughs> ah! I am the captain. You come to me. What do you want? This is the one near our original house. Having a grand old time, Porgy and I reminisced on the many places we passed. That was a epic, epic, epic. We did it. 
We went around the world in six in cool. 80 days at 20,000 leagues under the sea. We'd gone the whole way round, ending a tale of great proportions above and below the waves. Good parrot. I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to see more. I'm live streaming Ark Survival Ascended on my Twitch right now. Come say hi, and make sure to follow me on Instagram and my thumbnail artist too. This has been your friend Wellen at the conclusion of this great survival series. I'll see you next time. I